Let's imagine for a second. You're on your mobile device watching videos online, maybe this one, and you're craving a little playtime with Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions. Sure, you can pick up a copy on the Play Store and run through the captivating story once more. But do you ever wonder what it would be like to go back to the PSP days and play a quick rendezvous mission or melee battle? If you have your War of the Lions UMD backed up to your device and the PSP emulator, you are 90% of your way to doing just that. I guess what I'm trying to tell you is, there has never been a better time to dust off that old War of the Lions UMD and try out the features that should have been included in the mobile port. Does testing out your roster of homegrown characters against some of the most difficult challenges the game has to offer sound like an absolute blast to you? Or you have a pre-made roster you're trying to play test and fine tune for PvP battles? Then stay tuned as I explain how to play War of the Lions multiplayer on any device, wherever you have an internet connection. Hi, I'm Mikey from Tactics Live Tournament, inviting you to join me for a quick tutorial on how to get multiplayer up and running on the PPSSPP emulator using Zero Tier Network, a free cloud-based VPN service with a great track record of allowing players to connect from a wide array of devices. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so more Tactics players can learn about this tutorial and you increase your chances of finding another player to do battle against or team up with. And this amazing community can continue to grow. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Previously, we had covered using SOCOM.cc as a server to host multiplayer tactics games. And while it is great to use, I and other players had been having difficulty connecting with one another recently. Thanks to the efforts of the TacticsLeague.com Discord moderator Yoshinja, who researched and did all the initial legwork of testing Zero Tier with War of the Lions, there is now an active community of players looking to get in games right now. Using this simple, fast, and reliable service, I was honestly blown away with how quickly I got set up and how much I truly miss getting a head-to-head -head game or co-op in with War of the Lions. And I am sure you will be just as impressed. So let's get into it, shall we? As with all methods of emulated play, you will need a backup of your War of the Lions UMD. And while I plan on creating a tutorial on how to do just that, there are already plenty of tutorials made on YouTube, which I recommend checking out via the links in the description. Also included, there are links to the PPSSPP emulator you will want to download and install on any device you want to play on, and the links to download and install Zero Tier. Now is probably a good time to refresh yourself on backing up your save data from your memory stick and pointing your emulator to it, all of which is covered in a previous video. All set with the emulator, save file, and backup UMD, then it sounds like you're all set to run zero tier and get into battling with your friends. Head over to the zero tier website and go to download. Now, scroll down and find your device. Click that download link. Go ahead and register while you are here and create a server for yourself. It will always be there. And not a bad idea to copy the server address for setup on your device in a bit. Install Zero Tier on your device and launch it when it's finished. In the settings menu, go ahead and paste that server address you copied and you should be connected to your new VPN server. As an admin, you may need to adjust membership settings to manually allow users to enter, or just allow freely. Remember that your server address isn't public, so only those who have that special key will know where to find your server. Under your connection settings, once you are on a server, you will want to write down your managed IP address. It will usually be a string of numbers separated by periods. You will not need the numbers after the backslash, nor the backslash itself. If you are planning on hosting the match, this managed IP address is critical 
to share with the other player as they will need to connect with your device's IP address directly. Remember also, this connection is through a cloud VPN and you'll be protected from any malicious attacks. Once you have copied the managed IP address, then you and the other player need to adjust your PPSSPP networking settings to the following. The host needs to enable ad hoc pro server. The guest will leave it disabled. Both players need to enter the saved managed IP from earlier in the server address bar. Both players can go ahead and disable UPnP. If you are having issues connecting, try enabling it again. Set your port offset to 12,000. That should do it. Go ahead, launch War of the Lions, head into the tavern, and attempt to connect with your partner. I would recommend the host starts on their end before the guest player attempts to join. Now, be amazed at how quickly you find your opponent or teammate and enjoy Final Fantasy Tactics multiplayer with another living human being. That's a wrap for this tutorial already, because like zero tier setup, it's over before you know it. The only thing left to do is join a community of other War of the Lions players looking to get a multiplayer match in. And you can find links in the description to the Tactics League Discord. Don't be shy. There are plenty of helpful folks in there, myself included, in case you're having any issues getting started. Shout out once more to Yoshinja for creating an awesome place for players to meet up, chat, learn something new, and of course, get some tactics games in. This is Mikey from Tactics Live Tournament signing off. I will see you in the next video. And until then, be well, everyone.